We're here on World Indigenous Day and as a residential day school survivor, I just wanted to share a few reflections. As we uh, go through this process of settlement, there's things that the public needs to be aware of. So one of the effects is that not all survivors got their settlement. For example, my father passed away before his settlement reached him. Even though the settlements were completed, a lot of the summary budgets were very short-sighted and curtailed. So what I mean by that is if you look at the um, size of the financial settlement in Canada, there was about four billion that went to the settlement process. Of the four billion, three went to various organizations, law firms, trust companies, different holding groups, uh, accounting firms that have received that money. So it did not get to the survivors. So I want people to know that. Uh, the other thing is that uh, as we move forward uh, and are doing the claims for the day school settlement, the people who are making settlement claims and doing the process now are having to relive the trauma. So they are re-traumatized by telling their story. And as a result, some people who have beat their addiction or they were able to overcome their alcoholism, they have gone back to their addiction in order to deal with their pain. So these are very uh, traumatic events that are happening to people across the country. And so on this World Indigenous Day, I would like to share that it's not all uh, easy. Apart from that, those who are able to come through the healing, I find uh, hope. And for me especially, I have been able to work with uh, psychiatric counseling, psychological counseling, and at the same time, I've also needed to work with Indigenous elders. The key there for me has been ceremony, the importance of participating in ceremonies, the importance of healing, and the importance of being able to share my own story, my own narrative. And so, as we move forward from this World Indigenous Day, I ask for prayers for all the community. I ask for the communities for healing uh, as they deal with the children, as they're going to rebury and look at the repatriation of the bodies across the country. So I ask you as a public to support the survivors, to look into your community and see what you can do uh, as a result of this knowledge now, now that you know what has happened to the indigenous people, what are you preparing to do about it? What are you called to do? And how will we work together? So I wanna just thank you for allowing me to share this uh, message and to share this time with you. Thank you.